Hey Virgo, welcome. I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general love reading for November. Any information you all need, you can find it in the description box down below. Um, I have personals open again for now. All right. Um, so this is just, like I said, this is just going to be a general love reading. Um, so I'm going over like past, present, future, your feelings, their feelings. So let's see what we have going on here for you guys. All right. In the past, there definitely could have been some deception, okay? You've got the Six of Swords here, Mercury in Aquarius. Somebody could have Mercury in Aquarius, all right? Or their Moon in Aquarius. Somebody could also have um, Saturn in Libra, okay? You've got the Three of Swords right here. So um, this doesn't have to necessarily mean that there was a third party. There definitely could have been, but it does feel like there was some heartbreak in the past here because somebody was just not giving what was being brought to the table. Like they were, they were holding something back here, even if that was just their time, their effort, their energy. So I see someone who's moved on from this here like you've turned your back on this heartbreak this deception what's going on currently the queen of cups the ten of pentacles working on your money here um trying to really follow your heart in a situation you've got the um queen of cups right here so it does feel as if you may still have a little bit of emotion attached to this here virgo but it mainly seems as if you're trying to figure out what your heart truly wants like what does it want because this is what you wanted it to be you know what i mean so it wasn't it ended up not being what you wanted it to be so you're like now where do i find what i want so that's the kind of energy that i feel you guys in but in the process you are working on your your uh, money your finances or just being more emotionally stable in general queen of cups you know she knows how to uh, move through those tough heavy emotions here you got the page of swords so you could be watching somebody or they're watching you air sign here i've got cancer as well how about the future? What's going on in the future here? I'm getting the lovers, okay? The five of pentacles, interesting. And the queen of pentacles. Making a decision to lean, to lean, <laughs> to leave something behind here. You've got the lovers right here. So some of you are going to find someone new. Could be a Gemini, okay? Some of you are going to come into um, a new connection here. We do have the five of pentacles. So I see you leaving this behind for good. Investing in something new. Somebody who's very loyal and devoted, perhaps, okay? Um, this could be somebody who's brunette, all right? Um, who's brunette, very focused on their money as well. This could be someone you meet through work, Um but it does feel like they're very nurturing, okay? Um, they're very resourceful. They plan things out, okay? They show you they care, all right? Let's see what else we have here. They make a lot of sacrifices as well for people they love. They do a lot for people, so that's the kind of energy that I see coming into your space here. Let's figure out how you're feeling about this all right now. How are you feeling here, Virgo? We're going to go over all the signs at the end and see how... Um, you know, you can basically, the idea with that, goodness gracious, if I could speak, Virgo, is at the very end, I'm going to go over each sign and see how they're feeling towards you. So pick the sign or the signs that you're dealing with and um, we'll figure out what's going on with that and how they're feeling towards you. You got the seven of wands and the king of cups right here. So it looks like you're really trying to block this out. You thought this person was it for you because you had that queen of cups in the last, um, you know, spread there. So it's like you really thought this person was it for you. And, you know, they were showing every sign that they were not, that they were not it for you. So I feel like you're trying to block that out. Some of you could be blocking a Scorpio here. How are they feeling towards you? How are they feeling towards Virgo, November? Okay, we got the Eight of Wands in the hair font, all right? So, um, so um, somebody here could have um, Mercury in Sagittarius or Mars in Leo, but this could be a Taurus for a small portion of you, but um, I do feel as if they could be trying to come in here. I mean, the Eight of Wands is messaging, all right? But I feel like you're blocking them. Some of you, like, if you block somebody, they could have already tried to message you here. Um, you do have the hair font, like they're, they're hit with some kind of... Um, you know, because in the hair font, that can be like structures, the home, tradition. To me, it is kind of like being in um, sort of a box, like building a wall. So I do feel like they are just, you know, hit with this brick wall here as they try to come in. Now, it's not clear to me if they're trying to commit. Are they trying to commit here? What's going on with that? Ace of Cups, wow. Yeah, I mean, I do feel like it's a little bit too late here. Let's look at how you're feeling one more time. You got the five of cups. Yeah, they disappointed you one too many times here, all right? Some of you, they wouldn't end a third-party situation. They wouldn't back out of something. What's like the final outcome between these two here? Judgment. It's going to be up to you, the chariot. I think you're going to be moving forward. Okay, ten of cups to true happiness, genuine happiness here, Virgo. Um, now, let's see what else we get here. Let's see how like you were perceiving this situation and how they were perceiving the situation. We'll figure out what's happening. We'll see if there's anything new coming towards you as well. How are they perceiving the situation? How's Virgo perceiving the situation here? Past. Present, 
future. I think you're at peace with the way that things, um, I mean, you're, you're getting back to a place of being at peace with the way that things um, have turned out here. In the, in the past, you have the Eight of Cups. So like you perceive this person as, ha as having their back turned. You were like, eventually I'm gonna have to leave this situation if nothing changes and nothing changed. And you got the Four of Swords right here in the current energy for how you're perceiving this. So, you know, with the Four of Swords showing up here, it's like you are trying to find peace with this. And in the future energy for how you'll be perceiving this, you have the Ace of Swords. So I definitely see you finding peace with this. Not only peace, but like clarity, victory. Let's see. Let me look. I'm going to put this back so I can see how they were perceiving it and how they're perceiving it now and how they will perceive it. Let's look at them now. Okay. Four of Cups. That's how they perceived it in the past. Ace of Swords, how they're perceiving it now. Things are things are clear to them. I think they'll be at peace with it eventually, all right? I do think they'll be at peace with it eventually. Why is that Four of Cups here? What were they doing in that Four of Cups? I don't know if they felt ignored by you. You've got Moon and Cancer energy here. Somebody could have had their Moon and Cancer. Why is this Four of Cups here? For how this person was perceiving this with Virgo. You got the Knight of Swords. Um, yeah, you know, it kind of seems as if they were they were the one in this energy here of not really giving to it. Because you've got the Knight of Swords. It looks like you were all for it here, all right? Um, and I think that they were for it when it was convenient for them. How about this Ace of Swords? How they're perceiving it now. The Devil, yeah. Now they're feeling a little bit toxic. I'm <laughs> feeling a little bit toxic. They feel a little bit toxic now. It's like with the Knight of Swords showing up, it's almost as if you were coming towards them in a way that's like, oh my goodness, this is too much. And now they're, they're understanding that. You know, they're in that position now where they're coming towards you in that same manner. It's really weird. How about the, um, how about the Temperance card here? How about the Temperance card for future energies? I think they're wanting to make peace with you here with the temperance card, but they're also like just wanting to make peace with the situation in general. Yeah, they wish they were that king of cups, but they're not, okay? So let's see anything new coming towards you here in the month of November. Any new people coming towards you here? Anything new coming towards Virgo in the month of November, please? Any new love? King of Pentacles, someone really stable, like I said before person may be foreign in Virgo for a small portion of you. They're like they may be someone who's not really from where you are from, okay? Or they just don't have the same beliefs or the same background as you. It's it's that kind of energy here. They're very stern, I feel. This person's going to be very stern, Virgo. Um, they're very serious. I don't want to say they're all about their work. They're all about their money. But I do want to say they're all about stability, uh, security. They're very responsible is how that feels to me with the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Um, they're very strategic as well. Very practical. Okay. Um, now, I do see a water sign holding on to you here or a Capricorn. All right. I do see an emotional message coming in from a person who I think this is going to surprise you here because they do seem very... Um, you know, not really guarded, but they, they seem as if they don't really express a whole lot of emotion. And, you know, you're going to be getting an emotional message from a person like that, okay? Let's see what else we get here. What else is coming towards Virgo in November? Anything else flip over there? Wow, Knight of Cups, Six of Wands. I get a small offer here. Um, could be from a Scorpio or a Pisces. I get a small offering. Um... Like somebody wants to have some kind of harmony with you here. But here's the thing, Virgo. Um, you've got the Six of Wands showing up here. To me, the Six of Wands is like a celebration. This can be like a parade or just an occasion. And occasions don't last. So to me, it almost seems like somebody's testing. Um, like they're, they're testing the waters here. They're seeing what they can get away with. It's almost like somebody could be returning to you just to see if they can still get back in. So just be mindful of that energy here. Um, the death card showing up. Like I definitely feel like this is someone you've um, had an ending with. Anything else coming towards Virgo here in the month of November? Goodness gracious. Give me two more cards for something coming towards Virgo in the month of November. Okay, yeah. It's that person. I mean, you've got the King and Queen of Pentacles right here. So I definitely feel like somebody's going to want to commit to you or they are going to want something serious here, Virgo, is how that feels to me. Um, I feel like it's at least going to be talked about, like, what the two of you want long term. And I think you want the same things here, okay? Um, you do have the Nine of Pentacles showing up. So I feel like somebody's telling you how they see you here. I feel like this is how they're seeing you right now with this Nine of Pentacles, somebody who's just very stable or responsible. I think that's what's kind of turning this person on to you here is just how stable and responsible you are and, you know, how much you have 
have things together here. You've got the Queen of Swords as well. So I do feel like for some of you, there's going to be a Libra who comes in here or someone from your past. Um, I've got Capricorn here as well, pretty heavily actually. Somebody who has Venus in Virgo, possibly, okay? Um, but I feel like somebody's definitely going to be expressing a truth to you about how they're feeling, about how they see you, okay? Definitely an energy of, um, you know, kind of setting somebody's pride aside here. It's not something they're comfortable with doing, I can tell you that, Virgo. Let's go ahead and look at each sign and how each sign is feeling towards you here see what we get. I did just kind of wing this reading, so let me know if there's anything else you guys would like added to a love reading, okay? Actually, let's go ahead and look at anybody who's committed, committed or married here. Let's see. Any challenges you're going to face? Committed or married? Any challenges you're going to face? Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. Um, I don't really see it, honestly. I mean, the communication could be a little bit too, I don't want to say a little bit too straightforward, but you want to watch out with, um, some destructive words here. We've got two fire cards out here. You've got the Eight of Wands. That's messaging. Like somebody's very direct in that Eight of Wands, right? You've got the Ace of Wands. So um, there could be a new way of communicating or there's something new here that's causing um, communication to maybe become a little bit destructive for some of you guys because this is showing up as a challenge you're facing, all right? Uh, for others of you, it could be a really fertile energy and you're not really wanting to... Um, that's not really a plan of yours right now. So what else? Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords, okay? Yeah, see, I feel like a conversation could definitely lead to some um, challenges here within the relationship. You definitely want to watch for what you're saying here, okay? I see something new coming in. It could be kind of stressful on you with that Knight of Swords energy. You could feel like you're under a lot of pressure or demands or vice versa here, Virgo, for those of you who are committed or married uh, or in a connection that's progressing in a healthy manner. Make sure that you have some balance there. Like, you obviously want to express the full truth in a situation, but you don't want to let this energy ride in there with it. Um, um, because I feel like you could end up saying some things that you don't mean here. So be mindful of that, okay? Anything else for Virgo to know here? Three of Pentacles. Definitely work on that communication. The two of you could also be looking at something here, like looking at places, all right? Like look like you're shopping around for something, okay, in the month of November. So I don't know what's going on with that. And the Three of Cups, okay? Going to uh, celebrations with one another, okay? Or for one another here. But this does represent a harvest, um, a reunion, like a coming together. Um, so I feel like there could be some something that you're celebrating here. But there's definitely happiness on the horizon. You have three threes showing up here again. Um, emphasis on communication, on expression, okay? Also creation, okay? You guys could be creating life here for some of you, okay? So let's go ahead. And look at those signs now. Sorry, you guys. Aries. How's Aries feeling towards Virgo? How's Aries feeling towards Virgo here? Three of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving. Okay, the Aries feels kind of, that they're moving kind of cautiously here, Virgo, is how that feels to me. Okay, they want to build with you. They want to work with you. But they're, they're wanting to take their time with that. Okay, how about the Taurus? How's Taurus feeling towards Virgo here? Pretty sure that was one of those same cards. Let's, how, how's Taurus feeling towards Virgo here? Knight of Wands, King of Swords, wishy-washy. They want to express some kind of truth to you. Some of you, they, it's weird, Virgo. I feel like this Taurus may feel like they've expressed the truth to you in the past and you've ignored it in some way, shape, or form. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's happening there. They feel like they've said something or they tried to say something to you and maybe you you missed it, okay? They tried to hint around at something. So I don't know what's going on with that energy here. But that seems to be how the Taurus is feeling. And the Knight of Wands, they're very wishy-washy about what they want to do here. Um, and then the King of Swords, for others of you, I feel like they do want to express the truth to you, but they are kind of back and forth with that, all right? Very attracted to you, though. How about the Gemini? How's Gemini feeling towards Virgo here? Four of Wands, Five of Wands. Wanting to commit, but feeling like they are in competition here. Like you might be dealing with other people. I think they have some conflict in the home as well, or conflict at work, okay? How about Cancer? Queen of Pentacles. Give me one more here. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, very devoted. They want things to be absolutely perfect between the two of you. Very devoted. They want things to be perfect, though. Okay, so they could be moving a little bit cautiously because they're wanting everything to play out perfectly. I see. I think they see you as a long, um, a long-term partner here, a lifelong partner, Virgo. They see you as someone they can have that with. So they're trying to create a really good story for the future. Okay. So, how about the Leo? How's Leo feeling towards Virgo here? Four of Swords. Leo's not really taking action. Ten of Wands. Um, yeah, the Leo's not really taking action. They feel like a lot of problems are on the table right now. I think they're trying to find clarity. So in the current energy, they don't seem like they're taking a whole lot of action. It's almost like they feel like there's a big mess and they, they're not ready to clean it up. They don't know where to start. 
How about the Virgo? How's Virgo feeling towards Virgo? Seven of Wands. Virgo might be feeling a little bit blocked. Um, they're not sure how to get to you. Okay, They're trying to find ways around something as well. They're trying to strategize for some reason with that Two of Pentacles. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, some of you, they're trying to come up with an excuse for something here. So be mindful of that. They do feel a little bit blocked or like they're up against a challenge. Um, they, they know they've upset you for a small portion of you. How's the Libra feeling towards Virgo, please? Queen of Cups and the Star, okay? Um, the Libra is feeling very hopeful that things can, you know, go in the right direction here. Um, with the energy of following your heart, I feel like this could be that person that you're following that towards, okay? Somebody could have some Aquarius in their chart here, uh, but very, very hopeful. They're feeling very hopeful, all right? I think that for those of you who are not in connection with that Libra, they're wanting to renew things with you, okay? How about Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. Scorpio feels kind of shut out, okay? They feel kind of shut out, like they, like they had to fight for something or defend themselves. That's how the Scorpio uh, appears to be feeling here, okay? Not sure if they felt like they were in competition or what, or if there were other people in competition. What's happening with that? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they felt like you got a lot of attention here. I feel like this person had a major jealous streak, but they didn't really want to say that. They wanted to act like they didn't care when uh, the reality is that they cared way too much, okay? Um, you got the Five of Pentacles right here. So I do see them kind of leaving this behind. That Scorpio feels really stubborn to me. How about the Sagittarius? How about the Sagittarius? They were, they're at, the Scorpio is acting like they don't really feel anything when they're feeling very deeply, okay? Three of Wands. For Sagittarius, okay? Sagittarius sees a future with you, but it looks like they're ending things for some reason, all right? They could be working on something else here. You do have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Death card, so that could be some kind of change that they're going through personally, but they do see a future with you, okay? I think they're thinking about sending something out, trying to close something out, or they're leaving um, the ball in your court to see if you're trying to close something out. They're like, what's going on here? How about the Capricorn? How's Capricorn feeling towards Virgo here? Ace of Swords. And the Six of Wands, Capricorn feels hopeful for a future with you, okay? Um, now, this could be, you know, with the Six of Wands showing up, it's not really a card of, like, marriage. It's, it's kind of a card of the wedding, all right? So they, they could be envisioning this with you here, some kind of wedding or something of that nature. Maybe that's a conversation that you're actually going to end up having with this Capricorn. Like, they do see a future with you. You could have already had this conversation here with them, okay? So that could definitely be an offer that's made at some point in the future. How about the Aquarius? Aquarius is like a little bit detached from this, or they, they try to detach from it with the with the King of Swords showing up here, but the Ten of Cups, I feel like they see you as, you know, the, the ending for them, okay? They see you in their future here. They see you as the last one, all right? But the King of Swords showing up, it's almost like they try to detach from this image here. They could have a family, or they could be dealing with someone already, um, but I see them trying to detach from their fantasy of you here. How's the Pisces feeling towards Virgo? Three of Pentacles. The Pisces wanted happiness with you, but I, I feel like they still think this is over. It won't go anywhere, all right? They feel like they put in a lot of work on this before, and they're like, I think they kind of want you to make the move here, is how, is how I'm seeing the Pisces. Let's look at overall intentions of the person you're connecting with. I'm sorry that it's so scattered. I'm, I'm going to get some organization to this. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Death card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So I think somebody's really working on themselves. Some of you, they're really working on their finances here. With the death card showing up, they're trying to bring about a change to their responsibilities or their duties. So I think that for some of you, they could feel obligated to something else right now, okay? So whether this is like they're really focused on their work. Um, some of you, they could be taking care of a family member here who may be ill, all right? You got the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I think slowly they want to they want to move into this King of Cups energy, whether male or female, it does not matter, but they want to be more stable for you, okay? It's how the intentions seem to me. But I also feel as if somebody's very cautious. They want to speak with you again. I know that. Or they want to speak with you emotionally. They just don't know how, okay? Some of you, they do want to close it out. But it's like they want to speak with you emotionally first about what went down and how they were um, seeing things at the time, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. I hope that this was helpful. Please feel free to watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. And you enjoy your month. Bye.